Hello and welcome back. This is just a quick video of um, something that kind of fascinated me about two weeks ago. And so I was at my grandparents' house in their backyard and I noticed this cool plant, or I guess it's kind of a vine that was growing on the um, pergola in their backyard. Um, and which is, that's kind of like a um, semi-roofed structure that, wooden structure that provides some shade. And I guess I've been in that backyard plenty of times, but I've never really noticed uh, the plant, strangely enough, and it's been there for many years. And upon seeing it, I thought maybe this is the most cool thing that I've plant that I've ever seen. And it looks kind of like a trumpet vine, um, but it has leaves more like a bougainvillea. So the leaves are, are um, less like on the edges. They don't have as many um, pointy ends and they're also uh, glossier and lighter. And I'm just going to show um, you a comparison of the plant that I saw compared to the trumpet vine. So I guess you could say it's um, the one I saw. It's like a cross between a bougainvillea with its leaves and an angel's trumpet with its really nice yellow and pink red combo flowers. They're just, I mean pretty unique and stunning at the same time. And I think what was also quite nice was that it complemented that pergola um, really well. I don't think there's a better plant that can grow on the top of a pergola um, just with the, the whole sunlight in the background. It's just a wonderful plant to have. And so it would go well in any um, desert-themed backyard, especially if you have um, the ground of your backyard is like stone tile and there's a lot of light-colored uh, things around it, I guess. And as far as its growing conditions go, I'm not 100% sure. Um, what they are, but I think they're pretty mild in general, and um, the plant just needs um, good water and soil, and it can survive as long as it gets some shade. Um, I think even the pergola will give it enough shade. <laughs> temperature-wise, probably can do well from anywhere if your winter temperatures are above like 35 and your summer temperatures are in the 80s probably even 70s, and I think it um, definitely likes uh, a little bit of a breeze occasionally. And so, in other words, as long as you can consider your climate Mediterranean or something close to that, you're good to grow this plant. And as a testament to how easy it grows around where I live, um, there are a bunch of similar plants that I've been able to identify, which basically are just growing wild and flourishing without really any um, evidence that they're being taken care of by anyone. Um, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching and comment, especially if you have one of these plants. I'd be happy to hear um, what you have to say.